what are your taxes like? Because you give away so much money. Yeah. I hope that that's all deductible. I do too. If it's not, <laughs> which that is brutal. If it's not, I'm. I might have a GoFundMe <laughs> coming mm-hmm. up, but we'll see. Because this year's taxes are coming up, and that's when it's gonna. I mean, like millions of You're dollars. You're about to find yeah, out I'm gonna be, yeah, how bad you got it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, we have it all documented. We have receipts and stuff, but it's like, the hard part is like, when I give my boys a hundred grand to spend, like I just brought that up, that video up, mm-hmm. who pays taxes on it, right? Mm-hmm. Them? They can't pay taxes on it, so then I guess I have to pick well, it up, but it's not, I gave away the money, so it's like, it's rough. If I was your accountant, and I'm not at all uh They all tell qualified. me just to throw the taxes on my boys, but like, that's kind of shitty. They so tell you, don't, they tell you what? Like, someone has to pay taxes if yes. I give away money. Either if you first... say, and you're in the video, you're like, here's $40,000. Someone has to pay taxes on that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Either man. me or them, for the most part. So I don't know how that's going to go. And that's even like, if you go give like a homeless dude a house, is there tax implications on that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think so that's always oh, is. Fuck. Yeah. So it's like, it's getting, yeah. People don't, don't think about that. Yeah, I know. People need know. to know about that. <laughs> well, we're going to find out when this tax season happens. <laughs> I want to find that. Mr. Beast Is this going to be your craziest, like, tax? Yeah, of course. Yeah, last year was stupid, the amount of money we spent. I mean, like, someone's, like, 500 grand on videos. And so it's it's going to be dumb. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't know how it's going to go. I wasn't really... So, like, game shows, if you win a car, <laughs> I didn't know this, but apparently right after the game show, they have you sign a document where you say, like, you're going to pay the $8,000 mm-hmm. tax on it mm-hmm. or you forfeit the prize. Exactly. Like, you, you don't even get it yeah. at all. Yeah. Like, you don't, you, they don't even give it to you to sell. For pay, real? Yeah, like, you either pay taxes or not. Because I talked to someone who was on a game show, and mm. he, he won a prize and didn't even get to keep it. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I always he wondered that taxes. about Price is Right. Yeah. Where they're it, like, you win a $100,000 uh, vacation. Well, you're like, yeah. Exactly. It's more like <laughs> a like, vacation. You owe us, you owe yeah. us uh, $50,000. Yeah. So I think that's why they do vacations because you can't liquidate it. Mm-hmm. So then most people don't even take the prize. So are like, you fucking my? Ass. All right, I don't know if most people don't, but <laughs> that's like, crazy. They have to. Yeah. yeah, so that's where it makes Ugh. things a little weird on me because like, you know, if I make them pay taxes on stuff, then I look like a piece of shit. But if I pay taxes on it on something that's already not really profitable, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's, yeah. I don't think so yeah. because it's really when we're talking about your staffers. Yeah. Okay. Well, other besides them. I so, mean, so your staffers should pay tax because for them it's like a bonus. Yeah. Yes. Now, if we're talking about like here, you go up to a waitress and you give her thirty thousand dollars. I, I even do, then like that one they would pay taxes. It's a little more messy when I give someone a car. Well, I guess though. they have to claim that. Yeah, yeah. That, that one's an easy right. one. Yeah. It's more like literally like I gave like a six car. cars, and so like who pays taxes on these like forty, thirty, twenty? I wonder cars. if there's not room for an argument that it's uh, just a tax deduction for you. Because it's part of your, it's part, it's, it's, we'll see. it's kind of like a, um, an expense. Yeah, it's an expense it of doing expense, business. But I'm pretty sure someone has, I, I didn't you need know. A, all I hope stuff. you have a slick accountant. Dude. Yeah, we're going to find out. We'll I see. hope you have a slick Jewish accountant with a yeah. Brooklyn accent. Yeah. Well, do you? I don't. I'll, I'll, I You're need fucked. to switch them up. You're yeah. fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I just signed over to a slick uh, Jewish accountant with a Brooklyn yeah. accent. <laughs> did he help you save well, money when you gave it? Well, actually from Brooklyn. He, dude, yeah. Yeah. I need one of those. I think I have one of those. He, I don't. I don't deal with any of that. I have a, we don't know. I yet, have a but friend that's in the hope. Well, yeah, this year he's going to save us a lot in taxes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have a friend in show business who's pretty big in show business who recommended him to me, and I get on the phone. His name's like Harvey, and he sounds like straight out of the fucking corner deli in Brooklyn, dude. Just like that deep Jewish accent. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, "How old are you, dude?" Because he sounded like an old Jewish man, and he's like, I'm 40. And I was like, bro, you have the cadence of an old Jewish man, and you have my business. <laughs> yeah. All right, I mean, yeah. That's an anecdote. That you, I can help you. Gotcha. You can help me. I can Long help story you. short, you can help me. Thank you. Yeah. Actually, speaking of taxes, I was talking to someone. <laughs> I won't name him, but it, you know how, like, Trump, like, passed the new tax yeah. bill where, like... 199A. Yeah, and he was supposed to, like, make it where, like, uh, you know... Lower income people pay less and higher people pay whatever, like the, you know, make companies pay less or whatever, something like that. But it, it was, I was talking to one of my friends, and um, it's funny because he ended up paying like over like half a million dollars less than he would have before that tax bill. And his employees actually ended up paying like 5% more in taxes, but mm. Trump pitched it like it was the yes. opposite. Mm-hmm. So I've I've been obsessively learning about that. It's so, so it's kind of the fuck. So the 199A is the new deduction. And it's a 20% corporate tax deduction. Yeah. So, and then, so first of all, what they also did to pay for that is remove the state income tax. 
So there's certain states, mostly liberal states, that have a high personal income tax to the state, California, New York specifically. Yeah. I don't know what it's like in North Carolina. Is I there think a state? is like 5%. So in California and 5% there, that was a huge, huge deduction that would come deducted from your federal taxes. Mm-hmm. So in states like that, your taxes for, for a lot of people are actually going to be going up. And they also capped personal expense to yeah. 10000 too. So a lot of for people... For non-corporations? Yeah, for your personal deductions. So a lot of people in blue states um, are going to have their taxes increased. Damn. And they also did... This was... He did us dirty, dude. Entertainers, people who derive their uh, money... I'm, I'm learning stuff, yeah. <laughs> people who derive their, their income from performance... Yeah. Where, like, it's a personality-based uh, okay. company... Cannot take the deduction. That ten thousand dollars straight up. No, the the twenty percent deduction. You right. cannot take it. Entertainers can't. Entertainers cannot take it, and then not only entertainers like lawyers and accountants and shit like that, like uh, professionals. But the, he specifically went after like businesses. Uh, he yeah. w- he went after like entertainers specifically. It's like a little revenge play. Well, see, now we're getting out of my realm of knowledge. I don't know anything. Yeah, yeah. No. I, <laughs> I, I just know funny stories where my friends who were supposed to get, yeah, pay less and people that were supposed to be helped mm-hmm. pay more, and it's just like I just like I'm not a political person. I know nothing about politics, but when they just blatantly lie, and you know, it's kind of like, wow, you know. Well, I t- dude, it's so fucked up. Like uh, when that happened, I was like, oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get all this money off taxes, and then our accountants are like, "No, you're gonna pay it's more this year." Actually, gonna go up. Oh, yours? Well, what the fuck? Yeah, because we're in. Because, um, I should just like literally text you my should, guy to like. Yeah, you I need ask. an educational course because taxes are due soon. You should find out what he's doing. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll just, uh, take care of that. Yeah, you're like shit. Uh, we have uh, like a month to finalize. Yeah. That. Well, I, I just it's if not I, easy. it's not easy. <laughs> if I didn't, uh, if I didn't plan easy. properly. Oh, I thought that was the guy out there. That's a little sound. It's a, it's a Lance Stewart. Uh, Welcome to Papa's house. That was a good one to push. <laughs> yeah, but if if I didn't prepare pro- properly, you're just gonna see my videos go from a hundred thousand dollars a video down to like five. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Today we're gonna be giving out uh, packs of gum. Yep, yep, yeah. No, seriously. So that might happen. We'll see. No, I don't. You know. I don't think you're a big spender. I'm sure you're. You're well, you, what? Videos. Big spender? I am. A, I'm a well, huge spender. Well, not on yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I videos. mean, but it's all business. You're spending money on your business. But you gotta make sure someone has you to pay taxes. Either me or, or the people. But I'm just <laughs> saying it should be deductible because it's a business expense. You gotta get a slick Jewish accountant to make sure it's, it's categorized as a business expense. Yeah. Can you go to the Supreme Court and tell them that? <laughs> it's not a Supreme Court issue. It's a it's a good faith argument based on because we're in a new vertical in terms of business, traditional. We, we don't really fit the traditional mold of how people spend money on mm-hmm. entertainment. Like, what you're doing is a legitimate business. If you're not giving out $100,000, people aren't watching your videos. Yeah. So I see that, and I think it's a good faith, uh, legitimate argument to make to the IRS that, hey, this is all t- deductible expenses. Because mm-hmm. this is what you do. Yeah. I guess. Do you want me it? to be your accountant? Yeah. You, you, you want to just do everything for me? <laughs> yeah. This shit gets me riled up because, <laughs> yeah. look, it's, ri- it's ridiculous. If you... Spend that much money on the video. As you're long not, as it's not, it's not enriching you. It's fucking you're you're producing content. Yeah, but at the same time, I, like some of it goes to my boys and things like that's, that. So that's I, deductible. Yeah, or I mean, that's a that's a, they should pay the taxes on that. Yeah. So that, so anyways, I buy him a car and then it's like pay eight thousand dollars on this car I gave you. That's a, when they don't that's have eight thousand dollars. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a tough. That's yeah. basically <laughs> summing up with that. We yeah. can move on. It's yeah. just like because yeah. they especially because I know a lot of the prizes I give away that people can't afford the taxes. That's the right. dilemma. That's yeah. crazy, man. Yeah, that's a tough one. So you then I just have tax. to kind of pick but it up I think myself. That is a really interesting peek behind the curtain yeah. that people yeah. don't think about. <laughs> Good yep. luck to your accountant this year. <laughs> and to you as well.